Welcome to Table Talk. I'm Ross Everett. I'm McJourney. I'm Trisha Ashford. And we take your comments from Twitter, hashtag Table Talk, and on Reddit, on reddit.com slash sourcefed slash r slash sourcefed. It's written right here. It's written right there for you. Let's get started. Take two. No, let's keep going. That was great. I think we nailed it, right? We're all in agreement? Everyone's applauding. You'll see the studio Mm. audience is really loving this. Oh, yes. Thank you, studio audience. Uh, This is from the Super Koala. It says, what's your worst first world problem? I tweet first word poems. I know. I was gonna say, Meg, you get this on Twitter all the time. Oh man. Uh, well, yesterday my first world problem was that I had to decide between Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, and it was very difficult. <laughs> What's the difference? Because they, well, they have different. Like okay. there are different exclusive Pokemon, and then like one has like a black and blue Charizard, and one has another Charizard that's like he's like red, and so that's what it's, like supposed mm-hmm. to be like that kind of color scheme. But this then this one's black and blue, first and then this problem. one had the Mega Mewtwo that was like. So I got X, Mega Mewtwo. All Very important. That's all about it. I just remember like red and blue Pokemon like back yeah. in, like, when I was in Wait, middle school. Did you have red or blue? I had both. <laughs> I went Piece out and I got shit. both uh, because I, I wanted I wanted all the Pokemon. You got to catch them all. got to catch them all. Yeah. Um, Pokemon. We almost started seeing the, the poker rap right there. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> got to catch them all. Pokemon. Um, that was good. Thanks. Ross. I'm pretty good at it. I was pleasantly surprised by that. <laughs> I'm going to take it a step further. Do you know the extended version of the theme song? Nope. Oh, Not a chance. I'm going to be the very That's best. the first verse. But no, no one, one ever was. was. Bam, 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 bam. Da, 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 I don't know this. To travel down is my, my cars. cars. Pokemon. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. I never Keep knew going. I'm on this show. It's still the first verse. The power the that's inside. inside. And Pokemon. Oh, God, I miss you. I love this show. Come on. Really? Yeah. I, I miss it. I'm like, oh, my experience with Pokemon is, oh, yeah, I remember babysitting kids and playing that card game with them. You were a great babysitter. We had I, was an awesome, I was an awesome. I was an awesome babysitter. Yeah. I was. I really well, enjoyed I mean, when you would let me watch TV, like yeah, late, and like I did. sneaking into bed when my parents got home. Yep. Not you sneaking into my bed. Oh, that's, inappropriate. that's um, weird. Wait, so Russ, <laughs> yeah. Squirtle, Bro- Bulbasaur, or Charmander? Oh, Charmander, every time. You, you, you Ew. Don't, I don't know. You don't know Ew. any of the old ones either. Um, I know Squirtle has a funny name. Yep. Squirtle, Squirtle. I know He's Pikachu because like, Pikachu's the most popular. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> I know they come out fire, of a ball and they fight each other. Fire, water, And I know grass. that the card game is remarkably like Magic the Gathering. Already? But simplified. The answer was Bulbasaur. No. Right. Oh, okay. that's hands problem? down the worst one. Hands down the worst one. Why? Uh, why is he the worst one? Because he's just he's, like, He becomes he's fucking oh. Venusaur! He's a potted <gasps> plant. Oh, uh, boo. Ah, no, you want fire or water. Nothing like, okay. oh, I attack you with fire, or I attack you with water, or I attack you with grass? Please, what well, do you Well, what choose? are you fighting against? Other, other things. And by I the mean, way, they do better against other things. So, like, fire right, yeah, beats grass, right, exactly. water beats fire. Well, that's fire. a standard RPG dilemma. Yeah, but, I mean, like, in terms of just, like, overall and also awesomeness, he's you don't want... fucking sweet. Are you kidding me? Your, your Pokemon is a glorified lawn. That's rude. Okay. Oh, what, is your, nice. what is your What's your first problem? world problem? I'm going to throw my coffee on Ross. My first world problem, problem, problem is that my coworker thinks that Bulbasaur is the best Pokemon. Yeah. No, he's the best not, starter. No. He's the best starter. I think my first world problem, problem I can't have gluten or dairy or else I become a mess. Like, I mm, think that that is true. true. Like, it's like, disgusting. I'll go out to eat and then I'll be like, oh, man, I really want this pizza. This whole, like, <laughs> menu full of, like, appetizing I food know, that's baby. all full of nutrients that's that sad. I can afford. But... Uh, give me this gluten free because I get a little I get snotty. A little I get a little flimmy. It's not flimmy. a little flimmy. It's not a little flimmy that. though. Let's <laughs> be super it's honest. Flimmy. Yeah, it's it's gross. Uh, we love you. I was I thought you were gonna say your first world problem was pumpkin spice coffee versus peppermint coffee. Oh no, but I I can't even have coffee because caffeine ruins me. What? Can yeah. you eat? I, no, I, I mean, like, I can eat coffee, and you guys wouldn't know, but, like, my, my throat starts to hurt. Like, I feel oh. like muscles are constricting. Wow. And, and I, I don't fall asleep, and boy, do I get regular if we're going to well, go there. Yeah, it's... it's that pumpkin spice well, coffee they've had in the so office has been a real... Lovely. Yeah. Oh, a real, uh... It's been a yep. real winner. Uh, do, you have a, do you have a first world problem? <laughs> I don't know how to play that off. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it makes people poop. It makes it's like a, it's all people talk. I was talk really about. trying to divert. It's I, all people talk about in this I outfit. Was I to tried find to a cute save way you guys. To say it, and there, <laughs> there was none. It was a discussion for a while. Everybody, everybody felt the effects. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, my first world problems are: Do I want to spend my money and upgrade my phone and get a tablet, or do I just want to get a phablet? I don't know. 
I a, don't know because it's you know if I, if I get a phone and a tablet, then I'm probably going to get the mini, like one of the, uh, the the seven or eight inch tablets, so that I can keep it in my purse, so that I can carry it around with ease. But then why not just get a lo why not just get a phablet? I really want to apologize to anyone that's on food stamps or like going through a hard economic time that's watching this right now because we're just like complaining about the most menial things. But I mean, that is well, the, but question that's the question. Was, what are your first but or, at the oh, same or time. do you access your Netflix via smart TV or via your gaming system? Oh, I I, the, um, I used to do my PS3, but now I do the, the Chromecast. Chromecast. Oh, it's the best. Uh -huh. It's the best. Chromecast is I good. have that Chromecast, and I was all excited about it, but I have no use for it, because I have two Wait. televisions, and they both have game systems attached to them. There you go. Them. Oh, you have both. Which game system do you have in your bedroom? Upstairs, I have my Xbox. Oh. But what, do you, what game system do you have in there? <laughs> She didn't get it. It's okay. I, no, I, 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 got, I got it. It's a box. Vagina. I got it. That's, that's where you were going, Just right? Just the blank stare on your face as I came for it. I was like, I'm getting nothing <laughs> over here. I mean, I, I understood where you were going with it. Yeah. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Tasers1995, whose name really fits his question, is okay. SourceFed Crew is now the cast of a, of a sitcom from the 90s. Mm. What is everyone's catchphrase? Okay. So Joe's is definitely feeling good. No, no. 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 Mine's Heart You. <laughs> uh, heart You. Steve's, could Steve's just be a fart? Yes. <laughs> or like a, like I a, think, oh yeah, Steve's squeal. would be a fart and then Lee's would be, well don't do that because that's, that's where too. we pick topics for. <laughs> <laughs> You're the reason we pick topics we've already had. I know the first time, I swear. Officer, it's my I first did, time. I plead. Innocence. I don't know. I plead is that innocence? innocence. Yeah, can you? Your do Honor, that? I'd like to plead innocence. I, I think we like go can ahead I and plead my evidence. We we will acquit you no, based and you, on you're like pleading. You've been idiocracy. Drunk. Yeah, I plead. I've been drunk, <laughs> officer. I only did it because I'm wasted. Yep. I plead I, a fifth. I plead Get it? A fifth. A fifth. I plead. Are there a fifth here? <laughs> yeah, girl. Fifth. Um, okay, so okay. your catchphrase. Um, I think Elliot's would be like a condescending. Sure. Oh. Oh, uh, the sure is really good. Also, uh, Emma Dunn now. Emma Dunn. Which is what yeah. he did in Emma the Dunn. fan appreciation song that <laughs> I love. Can I go? Emma Dunn. Can I go? Uh, mm -hmm. Lee's, Lee's would be like a, like a dinosaur yeah. roar. Yeah. And then people would be like, yeah. Uh, mine would be. She'd be the baby in dinosaurs. The oh, yeah. Not, not the, mama. the mama. Not the mama. Mm -hmm. And then the studio audience would just. Mm -hmm. um, I think mine would have to be what you talk about, Willis, because I say that all the time. Oh, yeah. That's kind of my okay. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, your so, catchphrase is, does this have gluten in it? Does it yeah. <laughs> Can I eat gluten this? Free? I think my catchphrase would be like, tell me what it tastes like. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> First of all, I just did that and like snot flew out of my nose. Um, second of all. No, you should cut out gluten. It really It really, really apparently. It makes you does, less yeah. funny, no. according to Ross Everett. <laughs> Ross will do this thing where he can't have something like somebody eating a donut and he's like, what does it taste like? <laughs> what does it taste like? like? <laughs> Describe it to me. Yeah, it's like, so Like, maybe weird. my imagination and is Phil, so powerful, Phil, I could eat it with you. Phil's would be love your faces. Yeah, yeah, it course. already is. It yeah. already is. Okay. Done and done. Ooh, it's I get one? Here we go. Yes. Well, not after that. Video. Like we let yeah. you out of a cage. Yeah. 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 Okay, at Lindsay K. Burton says, if your future children went back and watched sorts of videos featuring you, what do you think their reaction would be? Oh. I think it would be a lot of, oh, mom. Oh, I love oh, that it's mom. like, no, I love, I think your kids would be like, yep, that's mom, because you're going to be the same mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right really? now. See, I feel like I would have like a, a supposed like Susan Sarandon moment. She supposedly didn't let her kids watch Rocky Horror Picture Show for a very really? long time. I feel like it would be like that. Like, please don't, you could just not watch that. Which no, ones would you not the want them to watch specifically? Now, well, then everyone at home is going to go back and watch those episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Say that. yeah. The Which ones? ones? I think are embarrassing. Um, What's the embarrassing? The ones I think are embarrassing. Uh, this past week's bloopers, where I uh, tried to figure out if it would be legitimate to... Uh, titty fuck to, yourself. To titty fuck myself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Real solid. Link to uh, that probably. right here. By the I'm way, we'll just jump right to that moment. And they can watch it on Or the crazy sexy photo shoot with Elliot from yeah. ages ago. Um, yeah, but hold on, there are pictures online that are more uh, "quote unquote" incriminating than those. Well, videos. but here, okay, here's my thing. Here's my overall philosophy on incriminating things. Like you say, incriminating. I'm taking that to mean naked or sexy. Yeah, like something um, that you wouldn't want your. If kid you're to hired for a see. job to do a sexy shoot, you do a sexy shoot. If you're hired for a job to talk about things that are going on in the world in a fun way. 
I don't necessarily need my titties all out. But at everywhere. least the, well, you There's can't a, help it. They're huge. But well, that's if, true. Thank one you, of the mom. Things that, yeah, you you know you at least get to show your personality along with your assets. Right. Well, I just I don't know. I think there's times when it's appropriate to portray that side of oneself and there's times when it's not um and obviously bloopers is a time when it is more appropriate so <laughs> but it's still embarrassing mm. I, I was like so i was like i'll videos. go over there from the table so they won't film it and then i finish and i look up and realize the camera has been, been moved. turned to me uh, awesome <laughs> there there are so many videos on source fed and source fed nerd the chances of them going to bloopers and watching that, that one part of it. What about, do you, well now they're much yeah, better what, yeah. because people are going to be right. like well, DMing like, your kids. do you guys what, what are your moments? See, you... I, like, my thing is, I, I love everything I've done. Like, I, my kids, if I have kids and they see me in my place, which I did, like, awesome. I, I want my mm -hmm. kids to be the kids who get hassled because their mom is hot. That's, That's what the I worst want. thing you I've ever heard. So bad. Wants that to be the That is the worst so thing I've bad. ever heard. Hey, I so just bad. want my kids because... to be tormented by their peers because <laughs> no, they want because to fuck like me. Thing. No, like, <laughs> my, my brother, my little brothers are 17 and 18, and they tell me every time I go home, they're like, God, my friends will shut up about my hot sister. And different it delights me. Different, different one one sister. It's just so oh, they hate it. But it's, it doesn't matter. It. It's not like your kids are being scarred. Like, oh yeah, uh, my life source is just basically a pleasure palace for my friends. Like, no, that's, that's so that much worse. Oh. Well, but then you and then you just have to watch too if your kid gets into unhealthy my mom's hot territory. Okay, oh, but whoa. you took it what real. Do you mean? I spit all over you, and that's, yeah. I didn't mean to, but I don't feel bad about I'm it. Not, no, I mean, you're I'm not. You're snotting, you're spitting, it's a great day for Meg to... Meg had pasta last night. <laughs> <laughs> Gluten, it's a killer. But as a woman, you would still want to be hot when you're a mom. Uh, but I want to be hot, hot to other people my age. Well, right, of course I'm not being and, like, and I teenagers. want all those 15 year olds to want this well, body. That's not what I'm saying. No, just buy the poster. <laughs> just buy the damn being poster. Being a hot mom would be cool. Like, you don't want to be like the mom that everyone's like, nah. No, but, but I think being the slightly hot mom is cool. Okay. I think oh, being, you, a, there's a limit to the hotness yeah. now. I think you want to be being, mom first, wait, hot second. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mom I'm totally hot. down yes. with that. Okay. And I'm not gonna be. I want to be the mom that's like wearing like the oh hey guys. That, see, see, and that's not what that. you gotta worry about that. Mom. It's just like the understated like hot mom. mom too much. Yeah. No. 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 Not going there. Hey, please, can I get you guys? I probably don't need to get you to promise this, but <laughs> uh, just a promise that you will never have sex with one of your son or daughter's friends. Oh. Can we just like we will make a pact? Is this a personal thing that happened? No. I just feel like that would ruin a kid's I life. I have a, yeah. a real serious issue with people who are younger than I am. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like dating someone who is more than a year younger than me is like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I feel I, like you're a child. Honestly, I have to say, I think that is more of an LA specific thing. So everyone out there that's dating a guy that's younger, don't get disheartened. I just, I think. Oh, it's just for me. It's been that way my whole life. Oh, really? Even when even I was in, in high school. And, yeah, even when I was wow. in high school and stuff, I couldn't date kids that were younger than me. You have younger siblings. Yes. Did that p play a role into it? No. I have a younger sister, I and I couldn't date, uh, for the longest time, people that were younger than her. Well, yeah. oh, that, oh, I, I couldn't that. date younger than yeah. my little sister. I, I just How feel like... Your little sister, what's the age difference there? Uh, my little sister's five years younger than so me. We, so we're 18 months, which uh, is like, we were closer. really close. Yeah. So it was even like, it was two grades. Wow, so even you wouldn't date a girl two grades younger? Uh, well, in college, that kind of like, okay. you yeah. know, okay. went out the window. But when we were in the same high school, it was a problem. Yeah, that's a... I I don't feel like... Uh, uh, All right, here we go. Yeah. I don't want to be uh, the super dominant one in the mm -hmm. relationship, like the mom of the relationship, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And if you're dating a guy, like guys are already a little less mature See, than girls. See, that's why I was saying it's so, LA specific. Well, no, that happens I feel like at a certain in, age. In too. Girls uh, mature faster than guys, but yeah. then guys catch up. And then we uh, blow you guys out of the I water. I feel like, it's like even. A even now, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. you so. out of the water. Okay, but uh, <laughs> even now, if someone is like, more than a year younger than me, I'm like, I'm sorry, you're cute, but it's nice to meet you and goodbye now. Like, I can't, it just makes me feel too weird. Well, really? that's, yeah. that's uh, when I, I really, like, stopped going out to, like, bars and, like, dance clubs and that kind of stuff when I got to the point where it's, like, people would be like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And they're really nice. And, like, we're having a goof around conversation and then it somehow gets out there, like, yeah, I'm 21. And I'm like, no, nope, no, no, nope, no. Nope. It, like, <laughs> happens more often. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's just when I, I guess when I got to the point where I was, like, 21 is way too young. Like, I'm I, I'm kind of grossed out. Yeah. And then I was like, I shouldn't be here. Because this is a great place for 21-year-olds. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You're like, and I just you kids enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. I was like, if nope. you want some, I call me if you need a ride home. Yeah. No like, one drives right. drunk. Don't no get me one wrong. Drives I can drunk. still party my face off. Now I just do it at like house she parties and housed. stuff. I'm not. Yeah. Now I don't. <laughs> I get house. That's like, my favorite <laughs> phrase. I'm like, yeah, let's all go out and get housed. Someone brought that up to me. They were like, what is that? Where does that come from? Like, I'm so confused by it. Is it because you're at a, a house that's comfortable? You're I don't, able that's to a Trisha word. Ask wasted. Trisha why it's called house. I don't, I, I mean, that's a great, that's a great uh, description. Like, for there's why a, there's that a, at a bar, about, if you get really wasted, you can't, there's no bed to pass out on. I, li- I like this bed. definition for it. Really, yeah. it just came from college. I think yeah. everyone just said getting wasted, getting housed. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I don't know. All right, last one, guys. I see Vito, very cute, says, uh, if you were a superhero, what would be your kryptonite? Ooh. Gluten and dairy. My kryptonite's babies. Oh, yeah. yeah Baby head smell. Just I bring told you, a child want, near me and I'm I will make stop that what I'm doing. It's a cologne. It's a men's cologne. It's just baby head smell. Oh, hey, my God. Just... Ross. <laughs> I'm just like, baby, baby, baby powder. Huffing Ross all day. Baby powder is actually like an aphrodisiac for some women. Are you who really serious? Like and I actually, there's this baby lotion. It's called Baby Magic, which is a weird name for lotion. But my mom used to wear it a lot when I was young. Labyrinth. Baby Magic. I know, baby <laughs> Mom used to wear it a lot when I was young. And so it's like a really calming smell to me. And I have it in my house whenever I get stressed oh. out. I put it on. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just it makes me think of like when you're holding one, like I'm going to steal Joe's baby. I don't when you're holding one right that here. That part of it. It smells a little I just, I'll just take the lotion thing. <laughs> you smell this little head right Hold here. Penny in her. I mean, like, it's Ew, not no, weird. no, Penny does not smell the same. Uh, have you ever smelled a dog penny. after they've been groomed, though? They, they smell, smell so, so good. good. And then they roll all over the carpet to get that good smell off because they want to be stinky I, again. Like, the authenticity and the hatred in her eyes just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why, this is why Penny mounts you when you come to my house, because she wants <laughs> to dominate you. That makes it sound you. like Penny wants to do me. Megs, would be, been over this. Megs would be old spice deodorant. <laughs> oh. really? See, I'd be like a superhero that'd be like, I'd catch a whiff my own armpit, be like... Oh. Yeah, she you actually it? wears it herself I wear it. sometimes just to smell Get it. In there. Get in there. It does smell nice. Is it? I, I just smell shirt. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's do deodorant. It in doesn't there. smell bad. It's do deodorant. I have, I have you old probably, spice pure sport it's probably on right be, now. See, mine's um, aqua reef, and so it's probably see, like oh, you're so one. used to it. And as Meg's good friend, anytime she has a date, I'm like, hey, you make sure to wash off that man deodorant and put on some lady deodorant She's before like, you go out. She doesn't allow me to have it on. You make sure you smell like a lady before well, you go out. You realize how conflicting that could be when like a guy's like getting close and he's like, "Why doesn't want to smell another dude when Why he's... am I smelling a guy right now? Like, I don't know what to do. Do I fist bump you? Should I fist bump you? I seriously... I just got in trouble for that. Yeah, I support the wearing, that. That. Yeah, the wearing of it normal every day if it makes you happy. But I think if you're trying to nuzzle up on some dude, you want to smell like yeah. a lady. Yeah. No, before Gavin came in, she was like, wash that shit off right now. Ah. It doesn't work the other way around. Wouldn't it be weird if I was like, you guys, I really enjoy the smell of Clinique Happy, so I wear it all the time. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I like when a dude smells like a dude. That's yeah. why Wait. I don't, I'm lonely, so I'm, I'm my own dude. Yeah. Yeah. Girlfriend, see, this is what friends are for. Oh, boy. Girl, do you want me, you want me to wear Old Spice for you and just hang out around you the just, house? Thank I will. you, please. <laughs> Actually, Meg, before we go, I actually wanted to tell you that I bought your poster. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy with it, oh, too. Oh, God, no. See, this is my favorite because I it really brings out great. my chest, too. Yeah, you look well, fantastic. Well, and I, I just like that you're so confident after such a big meal. Look at those bedroom eyes. You're just so, the thing that people okay don't know about this poster body. is that I actually offered Steve the real bra, and he didn't wait. He, no, he, he got bought his, his own bra. You can't he wanted wait his own for that. Bra. And also, but now he has a bra. Yeah, pick it up at 4 yeah. uh, and other cool <laughs> Stevie stuff. This one, this one came from the Glitch. Uh, you guys should also check out the yeah, YouTube channel for Stevie yeah. People. So this was this was one of the ones that survived. <laughs> We've got this, and then also the shirt, the Keep Calm and Nerd On, are still yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. And if you missed out, this is the Stevie. This Pooping is amazing. If you missed out, you really missed out because yeah. that's amazing. It's an amazing shirt. I'm gonna cherish it forever. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on Table Talk. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zergos, as poster Ross Everett. Wow, that was weird. I'm Trisha Hershberg. Don't forget to submit your topics using the hashtag Table Talk on Twitter or r slash SourceFed on Reddit. Don't forget to click the annotation. Check out For Human Peoples Like We Said or go to SourceFed.com to see everything we've ever done. Yeah, you can. I want you to read some side effects to drugs in that voice. I'm, uh, I actually, for the AMAs last year, they used to scroll tweets and see how fast I could read them and they couldn't keep, the prompter couldn't that's keep hilarious. up with me. Really? Yeah. Except yeah, for girl. diarrhea and nausea. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's yeah. My I'm really girl. good at it. Yeah. And it really <laughs> freaks me out when you said I'm Steve Zaragoza because I went into autopilot. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I was like, I'm Trisha. Wait, that's not Steve Zaragoza. Yeah. <laughs> but I could get away with it now, and now I know that. <laughs>